we start off with teaching what we call a motor technique, which is a six inch step. But what the motor technique six is, is we ask them to put their feet parallel, right up under the armpits, and we're gonna take six inch steps backwards. All we're doing is when he moves, again, my eyes are on his waist, down to his knees. When that flinches, we're going to motor back six inches. At the same time, staying down, staying square, eyes are down. Now, whatever side he releases to, Coach, if you can back up just a step, whatever side he releases to, the ball's in there, all I'm trying to do is mirror the release and staying in front of him, not letting him get even. So as I six inch back, as he goes outside, I'm going to open up to the side that he releases. Now, there's some things we teach with arm coming back. As the arm comes back, your head better shoot back. But at the same time, you have to be able to turn your body running that way. Now, what you'll see the guys doing on tape right now to start off with is they'll motor and they'll release and they'll just open up, getting the hips used to opening up, staying in front, and being able to run. That's the first phase of it, motor release. So look at the tape. You'll see this young man motor back, good stance. Look at his head. His eyes are down. Now, this release doesn't mean inside or outside. There is no, they're mirroring the release. Now, all the things that happen right here, all the things that happen when the hips turn open, okay, this has to be trained every single day. There's no rhyme or reason. There's no set rule as to how you open your hips. A defensive back's athletic ability has to come out, but you can see this young man here open the hips, eyes are down, in position to run. A different, and guys are all different. You can see his steps are a little bit sloppy, but he's still inching out. He had a real, a real good understanding of being able to keep his body in front of the man. If you can keep your body in front of the man, that's what the motor is. If you can keep your body in front of him, a thousand one, a thousand two, a thousand three, there is no route. There is no route. Really good job there. You can see all of their eyes are down. Nice motor. Again, you can see the hips open. Watch his body come to cut him off. Good example right here of the eyes down. The eyes are down. The eyes are down. Now, some guys are good at using their hands. Some guys are good at using their feet and their eyes. But the one thing in common, the side that the hips and knees open to, it tells you where to take your body. You can see we're working on a line, we're working right down the line, a lot of reps. This young man likes using his hands, long arms, you can see him, I call him the karate guy, karate chop, but look at the eyes down. Eyes are down, he can motor out and punch at the same time, which is really good. Now, the next phase of it is, is that we have to be able to teach the guys that whatever side, whatever side the receiver opens up to, I always say the opposite arm has to come up. So if the receiver goes to my left, okay, if he goes to my left, I have to be able to open up to this side. And as I open up, as he closes the cushion, my arm comes up, thumb up, head as you go back. Why is that important? If you don't teach them that, they'll lean forward. And as they lean forward, they'll lose their man. Head and eyes have to go back, arm stiffens out. We don't punch down, we punch up, thumb up. But we have to be able to do this at the same time with opening up our hips and still doing what? Still being to run on top. Now, what this is, is to teach opposite arm, opposite leg. So I tell our wide outs, or our DBs who are playing wide out, to open up and go to the left at a 45 for a few steps, to the right at a 45. So what it does, it teaches them to come here and to flip their eyes Head and eyes at the same time flipping their hips and their eyes are down, but teaching the, the proper arm that comes up with the release. Now we throw this in sometimes. I like this. I like to do this with the young guys because what it was, it, what happens is, is that, is that they're in position, they're in position where it's hard to put the opposite arm up to the side that they're going. So this is just teaching. Here's a good job of this young man keeping his head and eyes down. 